Hello guys, it's a new day, a new video. Today I'm testing out my um, newest Roomba, i1 plus, aka i3 plus, because this is basically the i3 but with a different cover on it. Um, I like this cover better than the i3 a little bit. So this is the self-empty bin version. I've been using this one. This is my newest robot vacuum. It's my first ever Roomba, to be honest. So the bag is pretty full. I have extras upstairs, but I put this backwards. It's actually supposed to go the opposite way, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna test it and we're gonna have fun. So I'm gonna press this clean button. By the way, the app, it wouldn't connect to the app. Um, it refuses to connect. It says connecting is successful, but when it brings me to the home page that shows my picture of the Roomba, it says um, we can't connect right now. So if any of you guys know how to fix it, please comment that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. It's gonna go ahead. Oh, I should have not started it that way. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's go. This one does go line by line, so yeah, I move this in my basement. It already has mapped the entire basement, it just like for some reason, I wish the app works because this room, it's our exercise room, it didn't map the entire basement. This is the only room it refused to map. It doesn't go in here. Like when it's heading, when it's over like there to, like if it's over there, it comes towards here. But then when it like comes here, it stops. That's why it's, um, can you move cameraman? Um, that's why it's dirty here because like it doesn't come here it just doesn't go in this room the rooms it goes to are this room where there's carpet and the cat loves to come here and shed fur this is the dirtiest carpet we have this area all through here and this area over here. So, yeah. There's a bunch of dirt here, but the room seems to take care of it. So, if I had the app, the app, the app is, this is why you need the app for the robot. Um, like, so it can make a map and you could do like, um, virtual stuff from the app and stuff. And it will come here if I had the app, but it's refusing to come here. Um, because the app is not here and something tells it not to go there. It's already mapped my basement because, like, the first time I had it down here, um, it wasn't doing a good job at all. It was going all over the place and stuff. But I eventually mapped it. The next run I did was so good. And then this run is just like a normal Google. It knows the map of the house. And the base from my So, yeah. I also have a sharp eye on it. Um, I'm sure I mentioned that in a different video. So, yeah. I'm just gonna follow it and show you guys. If you guys know how to fix it, um, because of the app situation, where it won't connect. It's, like, it says, um, a connection successful, but when I go uh, to the home page, it says we can't connect right now, and, yeah. So if you guys know how to fix that, please help me with that. 
It has smart sensors all over it because this is this is not the newest one. Like they have the J7 and the J7 Mopper. And there's like there's fewer ones. This one is like the i3 plus is it's older than this i1 plus. I'm sure there's some differences. Like on the bottom there's uh, whatever those are called, um, those map things that they use for maps. Um, I'll show you it after, like, the things. So, I might make a part two of this, because this video is already five minutes long. And I want to show you the bottom of it. Let's see, go that way. Keep going. Go in there. No. Go that way. It thinks not to go there. Yeah. Ow, I just hit my butt. It has spot cleaning, that. And, well, all Roombas, Roombas have clean spot cleaning. I'm thinking to get a Roomba 692 and test it out. That would be fun. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Why did you say? Why did you just do that? When we were first buying this thing, I was going to buy a Shark IQ, um, but, like, I don't know. I always wanted a Shark IQ since I was, like, seven. Now I'm way older than seven. So, yeah. I always wanted a Shark IQ, but surprisingly, I seen this, and I just, I didn't like it. But I didn't like it when I first seen it. But then um, I seen the shark IQ. They had shark IQs in Walmart. But like, what are you doing? So they had shark IQs in Walmart. But what was that? That doesn't sound good. So they did. They had shark IQs in Walmart. I'm a reporter. So. Instead of the Shark IQ, I seen it, but this thing threw me off. I I was going there to get a Shark IQ, but then this thing threw me off when I first got it. It's like I don't know. It's not the smartest. So this thing just threw me off when I see it. So it's like I needed to get that. When I got home, I enjoyed it. It was so good of when I first bought it. Um, but like, it's still good. But I wish I would have bought that short time. We already got two robot I like the bag and the bagel system, but like, this, I like this self empty base better than the short one. Because the shark one is very small and it's like, it's like, what are you coming back to your dock? Is this bugged in? Usually they're supposed to avoid the docks so they don't accidentally go in. I was standing right here and it came to me. Yeah. Why is it flashing blue? I think I'm gonna make a part two because this is already nine minutes. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you in the part two.